Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for FPS and performance in CS2. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the best window settings. And for that, you have to open up settings on your PC. And once you're over here, go all the way down to gaming, open game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and to disable it, you can simply turn this thing off and it will help you to increase your FPS. After that, go back to gaming, go over to game mode and simply turn this thing on. It will help you to disable apps and services in the background that will also help you to disable your notifications, ultimately helping you to increase your FPS as well. After that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up and over here, click on change default graphic settings. Enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU as well as reduce your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and over here, click on the browse button and then go to the install location of CS2. Over here, select your CS2.exe and then simply click on add. It's already added in my list, so simply find it out. It's added right over here. Simply go over to options and then simply click on high performance and hit on save then close the settings before moving on i want to tell you about cs case a reliable site for all kinds of case opening reasonably it's extremely user friendly and they have partnership giveaway contracts and upgrade to get skins for literally free they have multiple payment methods and i loaded up 750 dollars and started opening varieties of cases like legendary eagle master case which costed me around 50 dollars now it's time to open it up And wow, we got the driver gloves worth over $120. They have variety of cheap cases for under $10 with great skins too. I have spinned through tons of cases and some of them were very good and some of them were okay. And in the end, I got skins worth $983. The withdrawals are also as simple as the deposits. Just click on the request trade button and within 2-3 to three minutes, you'll get the trade on your Steam. Simply accept the skin and that's how you get it in the game. And here is the fever dream that I have withdrawn from CS Case. Now it is applied on both of my teams and it worked pretty well. I love how easy and reliable CS case is for case opening and you can do it too. Simply use code BEARFOX while adding money and get 15% extra cash on your deposits. Make sure to go check out CS case, links are in the description below. Step number two is the compatibility settings and this will help your CS2 to run properly. And for that you have to simply open up Steam, right click on your game and then go to manage, click on browse local files. Once you're over here, go down to game, bin, win64 and you'll find cs2.exe. Right click on that, go over to properties and then go to compatibility, click on run this program compatible mode for Windows 8 and then click on disable full screen optimization, click on change high DPA scaling settings and over here, Check on this option, click on OK and apply. Step number three is local group policy editor tweaks. And for that, you need to have Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro to go into these settings. And for that, you have to simply search for local group policy editor. Once you're in this screen, you have to find your computer configuration. Inside that, find administrative templates, then Windows components. And in here, you'll find app privacy. Over here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Simply double click and open it up. Over here, simply make sure to enable this and then default for all applications, set this thing to force deny, click on apply and OK. This will now deny each and every application running in the background that consumes your processes whenever you're playing the game and disabling so will automatically help you to boost your FPS. Step number four is deanimating windows and this is super simple. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here you'll find adjust for best performance. Click on that and now over here click on show thumbnails instead of icons, save taskbar thumbnail previews as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Once that is done, simply click on apply. Next is setting up your virtual memory and it is right under the advanced section. 
processor scheduling set this thing to programs virtual memory click on change over here unselect automatically manage paging file size for custom initial size set this thing to 1361 that is a little bit over 1 gb and for maximum size you have to follow this open up system information on your pc and right over here you'll find install physical memory that is 32 gb for me so open up your calculator and multiply 32 with 1024 it will give you this value now you have to divide this by 2 and the value that you get over here is the value that you have to set in the maximum size and once that is done simply click on set and then click on ok this is how you actually set up your virtual memory correctly next step is fixing all of your internet issues using exit lag exit lag is a free to download software that helps you to fix your packet loss ping issues and so much more you can simply download this from the link in the description below once you open up the software it looks like this and over here it has over 1000 games to choose from you can simply search for CS2 over here and then select the nearest game region to you. For me, it will be Mumbai 01 and it will show you the estimated ping that is around 3 milliseconds for me. Simply click on apply routes and now CS2 will be added to your recent list. This application helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers that will help you to fix your packet loss, ping issues, stabilize your ping and jitter as well. The best part about this software is a tool section which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section and over here if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option and restart your PC it will also help you to boost your FPS. And once again you need to get a subscription so you can get a monthly, annual or quarterly subscription and if you go to get the link from my link in the description below you can get up to 33% off so make sure to go check out exit lag links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, look for your local disk C and then click on create. Name it CS2 and then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential because if you want to restore every setting back to normal without any data loss, you can do it. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Now next step is the CS2 FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this pack up and over here you'll find in 5 simple folders. First one is the CPU priority and in here I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. So if you have an AMD CPU you can run the AMD CPU priority, if you have an Intel CPU you can run the Intel CPU priority. You have to simply double click and run the CPU priority and it will help you to increase your CPU priority. Second folder is the RAM optimization and as it says it does RAM optimization. Now once again I have 32 GB RAM installed on my PC so I need to run this one. However, I have left a ton of presets over here so if you guys want to do it, you can do that. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Third folder is the most important one that is the CS2 optimization in which I have left CS2 high priority. This is what you have to compulsorily run on your PC because it helps you to prioritize your game to utilize your resources much more than it normally does. Next is Windows important tweaks in which I have left some of these registries. It is completely optional if the rest of the steps help you to give better performance, you can skip it. But if you want the maximum performance, you can do all of this. It will disable unnecessary services, background applications in case you didn't do it from the local group policy editor, disable downloading maps, transparency, enable clear page file at shutdown, improve system responsiveness and win32 priority separation. Once again, if any of this gives you any performance issues, you can always revert them back over here. Last and final is the batch optimization in which I have left some of these command prompts and all it does is a bunch of commands executed in one time so you do not have to manually do it. Once again, you can always check the commands that it is going to do in the notepad. So similarly, this is going to help you for your input latency. These two, this one will disable your memory compression and it is super important to disable it because it runs a lot of services in the background and disabling it will automatically help you to fix those FPS drop. Once that is done, you're good with the FPS pack. Now let's drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, you have to go over to the settings menu and then go all the way to the video settings. Now over here, you'll find your refresh rate, your display mode and your resolution. I highly recommend you guys to set your resolution all the way to the lowest one to increase your FPS. Display mode, it should be full screen for lower input latency. For refresh rate, you can go with the highest refresh rate available for your monitor. Then go to the advanced video settings. You'll find boost player contrast. Make sure to enable this. Wait for vertical sync disabled. And then for individual preset values, multi sampling, you have to set this thing to none. Global shadow quality low, moderate texture detail medium, texture filtering mode bilinear, shader detail low, particle detail medium, ambient occlusion disabled, high dynamic range performance, 
Fidelity FX Super Resolution Performance and Nvidia Reflex Low Latency Enabled Plus Boost. Once that is done, you can play your game without any FPS drops and with the best settings possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the channel membership as it helps me out a ton. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.